everybody. Deborah here, also known as Doobage42. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Good Stuff Mondays. The work week can suck, especially Mondays. So I like to bring along a little bit of happiness and things that you can be passionate about and things that you can enjoy not only on Mondays, but throughout the work week and any time. Today's Good Stuff Monday is about cars. Anybody who knows me knows that I really do have a passion for driving. I've never been able to afford any fancy or special cars, but you can still enjoy them sort of by proxy. There are tons of websites out there dedicated to different facets of car enthusiasm. Plus there's stuff you can go do in person. Always the car shows. Every year I try to make at least one car show just time and work is usually my constraint. Um, the one in Greenville is a lot of fun. It's small, but you get chances to drive a lot of the new cars. New car manufacturers jump all over this. They love to be able to show off their goods and it's a good way to see a whole bunch of new cars all in one place without being sold to constantly. It's a lot of fun. They also usually have huge areas of classic cars. Now those are the ones where people have restored these beauties and the work that they've put into them, it's awesome. And any kind of cars you can imagine. There was a huge uh, British car club display at the last one I was at with all these freaking adorable little tiny British cars, kind of like these. Okay, not this small. <laughs> this is a Mini Cooper. This is a newer version of a Mini, by the way. Uh, but they had some of the really old ones with, with their bright green color. It looks like a little, you know, breath mint on wheels. Would I drive it? Yes. I wanted it so badly, but you know, I have to stay practical with my cars. There are so many websites where you can read car stories and hear about car enthusiasts and lots of videos. YouTube is full of car stuff. Besides just YouTube, uh, one of the things that really kind of made me happier about cars is uh, the British show, of course, Top Gear. And I'm talking about the Top Gear with Jeffrey Clarkson, uh, James May, and Richard Hammond, because those are the terrible trio. Those are the ones that are so hilarious to watch. And those are the ones that now have their own show on Amazon Prime, uh, which I'll link to below as well, because it's a lot of fun. Those three are insane, but yeah, fun. But there are a lot of different things with cars besides just, I want a red one. You know, if that's all you like about cars, fine. You can enjoy that because aesthetically, so many cars are beautiful. They're like works of art, especially some of the classics. They put a lot of thought into how those cars looked back then. But also you can enjoy car stuff even with your kids besides Little guys like this and this, what? Adorable. And this little microbus, I guess it'd be an itty bitty microbus at this point. Um, the kids can play with these or you can display them, do whatever you like. Also, you can build models. That is still a thing. Here's a model that a friend and I have started. Uh, we just sort of leisurely when we can work on it. It's on a 1969 Cougar Eliminator. Not a hard one to put together. This one is all plastic. They also have metal ones that you can solder. They have snap together ones. They have ones that you can paint yourself. Pretty much any level of difficulty. Go to an actual hobby shop. They do still have them around. Find your local shop and shop and enjoy. And maybe start a new tradition. And not only cars with models, you can buy model anything. Also, if you're more of just a collector with those little Hot Wheel guys, keep it in the box. This one just ended up in the box, uh, brought it home because someone is a Volkswagen enthusiast and someone that person had never actually had a thing. This is a Volkswagen thing, also known as a Type 181. It's very cool, very retro. You occasionally see one on the road still. I look at the cars all around me. Now, what do I drive? I drive a 2008 Nissan Altima. Nothing fancy, nothing collectible but it is a good, sturdy, reliable car. In my life, that's kind of what I have to have. I've got a huge round trip to work every day, so it has to be a reliable car that's pretty good on gas mileage. Fun fact about my car, it's got a CVT, not a regular automatic. 
Love it. Hey, don't think I can't drive a stick though. My first car was a stick shift. It was a 75 Honda Civic. It was all about this big. It was little. But we would cram all of our friends in. I mean, I was a teenager at the time, and this was in the 80s. I'm not that old. Okay. But we'd cram everybody in there and go riding around on 50 cents worth of gas and um, just drove the fire out of that thing. Um, but I've had a bunch of different cars over the years. Most of the cars that I've had have been standard shift. I switched to an automatic. I still find myself reaching for that gear shift and reaching for the clutch, even though I've had this car for almost two years. So yeah, it's a habit. But I love to drive. I love to drive fast. Which is why I have a Nissan Altima. It's not terribly fast. It's still fast enough to get tickets. Oh yes, it is. Hmm. But it's a nice, reliable car that I can set the cruise control on and behave myself. I don't like behaving myself. But this is good stuff Mondays. This is not about me not behaving myself. If you want to hear me ranting about other people driving, check out my, uh, my takes lately. A lot of stuff about driving. Links will be down below. Speaking of links down below, I'm going to have links to some great car sites, great car magazines that are fun to read. The writers are awesome in these car magazines. Very descriptive and colorful. Their use of language is uh, at times hilarious. Um, and no matter what your passion for cars is, whether you like the latest, newest, greatest thing, or you like some old jalopies, there's something for everyone. Cars can be fun. Cars can be more than just a dreadful commute to work. There's a lot to enjoy. There's a lot to share. And I hope that you can reach in and get your hands a little dirty with cars too. Thanks for joining me for Good Stuff Monday. We'll have reviews on Tuesdays, my take on Thursdays. Come back anytime. You're always welcome here. See ya.